What small things do you do every day to live smarter? Every morning I wake up and have a glass of water first. So hydrate before you caffeinate. I, I, it sounds like I'm drinking the Kool-Aid on this, but I swear it makes you feel more energetic and happy and just kind of like sets you up to feel better all day long. I heard this from a trainer about a month ago. It's to count your reps in another language so that you won't focus so much on what rep you're on. And I know just enough German that I can do that. I'm going to drive. Here. Yeah, I know. Is it different? Yeah. Really? You're doing worse. You're like, oh, it doesn't even matter that I'm on 20 reps of like a shoulder press because I'm trying to remember what's 20. <laughs> Uh, and then also for playlists, I mean, everybody knows to make a great yeah, playlist, I it, but I just read a study that says if you don't listen to a new song three or four times before you put it on your playlist, it won't be as motivating. Um, but you don't want to listen to it too much, so I'm guilty of this. I listen to songs all the time on the subway, and it takes away some of their effectiveness. So just save it for your workout. Your workout songs are just your workout songs. And another one is to not think that you need an hour uh, at the gym. Brooke and I, we're also talking about this. I'm so into intervals right now. So doing like 30 second bursts as hard as you can go, and then giving yourself a minute break. Do that for 15 or 20 minutes, and you're going to get so much more out of it than if you were doing an hour of steady state on a cardio machine. Always have a what's next. I think that you just need to have a goal, whether it's like a small goal that's like something you can attain in a week, or if it's something that you're trying to do like down the line, six months away, just always knowing what you're working toward so that you're not just like working to work. You know, you're moving towards something that you want to accomplish.